Hey guys, welcome back to Ganchi Plans. If you're new here, I post videos all about productivity and planning, paper planning, and um, today I'm actually doing digital planning. Today's video is going to be about how I use Asana for my content scheduling workflow. Um, if you are new here, you might be like, why does this girl not wear makeup? I just don't, I can't be bothered. It's also 10.20 p.m. Um, and I... I'm feeling tired, so we're just gonna do this. Um, the apartment, or like, we just moved in. The desk is a mess. The fact that it exists and that the computer is set up is an achievement. And this, the content planning, is more important, and I wanted to film it and show you what it looks like. So here's my screen. Um, I use Asana for my content planning, scheduling, and all of the tasks and everything. I learned to do this from a, um, one of those social media marketing guru people who like sell overpriced um, courses and stuff. I, uh, her name is Elise Dharma, fine, whatever. I got actually a lot out of the free little boot camp thing she did. No interest in paying her to do anything else because for whatever reason, like her price point and my price, like it doesn't make sense. But because what I do is like I make, planner inserts. I sell them on GanshiePlans.com. You can check them out. They're like two seventy five dollars a piece. I'm not, you know, I'm not making um, guru money. So uh, the thing that I learned from her, though, is how to use Asana for my content creation scheduling. And it actually has been working really well. I've gotten into a flow. And so um, I'm going to be showing you what I do. Um, once a week, I have this recurring task to, where is it? I don't even know where it is. Plan content schedule. There it is. It pops up once a week. And I was going to do it last Wednesday, but here we are. It's the 9th and I'm finally getting around to it. Um, I'm all out of tasks, basically, um, except for one poll that I want to create for uh, YouTube and Instagram. Um, and so I need to populate this for the next week or so ahead. And so every week I go in and make sure that I have everything set up for the next week or more, depending on what's going on in my life. So let's take a look. Um, what I use, I have like a different, I don't know the terminology, but I think these are projects. I have one project for YouTube, one for Instagram, and then a couple other things. Um, and so they're color coded, which makes it easy. So I can see here, this is when I go to my tasks and I see the calendar, um, you can see everything that is um, color coded is a deliverable basically. If it's pink, it's something on Instagram. If it's red, it's something on YouTube. And so that way I can see at a glance that like I am planned up through Saturday, but I still need to plan something for sun an Instagram post for Sunday um, and everything for this next week. So uh, like I said, I'm recording this on the 9th. And today my plan, I took notes so that I wouldn't fumble on camera. Uh, my plan is to go through the 21st to have all of my content set up through the 21st. That's what I'm doing tonight. And I'm going to kind of show you my workflow, not every single bit of it, um, but this video is coming out on the 19th. So you're only going to get two days of future in this video. Um, and I hope that this works out. So first thing I'm going to be doing is adding the actual items that need to be done. Um, like the actual deliverables to this calendar. So I'm gonna go over here to the side and click on YouTube first. Um, it's not color coded anymore because everything here is for YouTube. So what I do is I make, yeah, we can sit on. I post a short on Tuesday, which is something repurposed from Instagram. Then on Thursday is a long form video like this one. And then on Saturday, I do a clip of that long form video as a short. So this is my new system as of like November, October. It's It's been working okay. I'm gonna stick with it for a little while longer. So we've got video Asana. I'm gonna to have to do the clip for Asana. I already put the clip for last week's video. And then we need to put a short here. That's all I need to do right now. So if we go over to the board view, this was the thing that was like a light bulb moment. Um, but I haven't actually been using it as much. So like these are all, in the upcoming category, but really they're all published already. Um, so I can like move them over here to the, sched the scheduled column. Is that the last? Yeah, that's everything that's done. 
So these are all in the past. They've all been completed. So I can move them all here. And there might be a way to bulk drag and drop. I don't know. So you can see the dates here. This is the day that the actual video goes live. And so it, the project itself, I don't know if it's a project or if it's a task with subtasks. I think it's a task with subtasks. But it'll show up on the calendar as like due that day. But everything underneath it, um, as you'll see here, like all of these things have their own due dates. Which are the subtasks. So each of these is for a deliverable. January flip through, I just filmed. So I would have moved it here. I actually just filmed it. So um, like right before filming this one. So it's going to go to the edit queue. And you can see under the subtasks, I can check film video. That's done. Um, and I still need to transfer the files to my computer so I can edit them tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow, tomorrow night. And then Asana, that's getting filmed today. And you can see all of its subtasks if it decides to load. There we go. Film, that's what I'm doing right now, and everything else. So those have all been assigned. That's important to know that anything that is on the, like what I'm trying to do right now, anything that's on this current week of focus, because like I want to be able to look at my calendar and say, okay, uh, I'm planning through the 21st, right? That means that by the 21st, I've got to have another one of these sit down and plan my content days. And I do that most Mondays. So if I'm doing that again on the 16th, then when I plan on the 16th, I will make sure I've planned through the 23rd at least. Um, anyway, I want to make sure that everything that is in that window has all of the subtasks assigned to me with a due date. So I needed to do, what was it again? The clip for this video is gonna go on Saturday. So if you see that, give it a like. Um, and then also a short from, repurposed from Instagram to go up on the 17th. So over here on the board uh, view, this is the, the brilliant thing is these templates. I don't do anything with these. This is just like, so I don't have to redo all of everything. And without having to pay for any of the like premium features of Asana, you just make your own templates. And so we've got clip. So I'm going to duplicate this task. And it's going to be called clip Asana. And then I include assignee. So we don't have to assign every single task to me again. And then I can move it to, move it to upcoming, I guess. Anyway. Um, so this clip is going to go out on the 21st, I said, um, which means that the, um, this is the same thing, it's just an expanded view. Um, so I can upload long video, that's going to happen, that's part of something else. So I'm not going to put a date for that and it won't show up on my tasks, but it will get done. So everything else for these clips can't get done until the Thursday that the video actually goes live, unfortunately. Um, you can't use the shorts editor until a video is actually live. At least I haven't been able to figure out if there's a way to do that. So those are all just going to get scheduled for the 19th when the big video goes live. So that was easy. That's done. Next, I have to pick a short from Instagram that will go up. Um, and let's see. I think I might do this one because it's an original audio. So I will take this reel that's going out. It went out today as I'm filming. This was the, um, you ever notice how much of being a stay at home mom involves not staying at home. Um, I'm going to repurpose that. Uh, duplicate here. So I'm just going to call it short. Stay at home and then duplicate as I need. Move that to upcoming also for now. This one's going to go out on the 17th, yeah? And so all of these create and post reel, that's done. Sign date for YouTube, that's done. Uh, schedule to YouTube, I can do that tomorrow. Add description, turn on monetization. I'll just do all the rest of this tomorrow. It's already, it already exists. I already have the video on my phone. I can just upload it. Um, I can upload it from my phone and then do all the meta stuff from the computer. And you'll see that in a bit.
So that's YouTube. Um, I'm going to do the same thing basically for Instagram. You can see my calendar here. I have stuff scheduled through the 13th, so I need to populate everything for the next week. Um, and then I will come back to you. Here's sort of how I keep track of uh, Reels ideas is instead of saving the audio, which I can only seem to find from my phone, um, I save an actual version of the reel that somebody did. So here's one. Um, and so I'm going to copy this and see if I can use this one. Um, so I copy here like an actual link to it so that I can get to it again from my phone. Um, and then I can duplicate this reels real idea this is a and then I will put it under plan because it still needs some planning so the audio link will go here in the description and then I'll put a couple of notes about it um, and then preparing these reels especially um, in advance, I put like absolutely everything like production notes means, you know, like what I'm going to be acting out and then on screen text so that I know what to edit in. Um, and then I put the, the caption and every all the hashtags ready to go for when it's published. This makes everything super easy. Um, this is really the breakthrough that that Elise Dharma was able to impart uh, as part of that little boot camp course that I did on her Facebook. Um, so I'm right now just going to come up with a couple of ideas to use this audio, um, uh, for something for my own. So next I have to actually pick a filming date. Um, oh, so schedule film date is actually done. Film on Thursday. And I can edit it on. Bye. <clears throat> so that's um, all of the tasks for now. You can look at my calendar here. I did say I was going to go through the 21st, but I still have to plan a reel for the Friday. Honestly, I need to do some scrolling. Ooh, it's got to be done, right? Um, and I'll save some more ideas. I have more that are sort of on the list. And anyway, I want to try to get this done, this video done to show you what I'm doing. So now that everything is up, um, like the deliverables are on the calendar and every subtask of you know every single little thing that needs to be done has a due date um so it will pop up and when i go to my tasks here and i go to board it will all pop up here anything that doesn't have a due date is like at the bottom um just sort of mumble jumbled all together uh see these don't these don't have and some of these might not be like this is these are templates those aren't ever going to get done. Um, so anything that I need to actually get done at some point happens on, it like I ha needs to have a due date, I mean. So let's see, putting content schedule, that's fun. So I'm on this board. I do use the board for the My Tasks tab. And so coming up is anything and everything. And the only things that are going to live here are this plan content schedule task, which, yeah, I did it today. Um, <laughs> And then um, checking in on Instagram stories. I try to do that twice a day, or at least in theory, that lives here. And those are recurring tasks. Next, I will basically split everything between deliverables. Those are all of the ones that are like color coded. So it'll be the video. Um, so I know what's coming up. Um, at a glance, I could be like, oh, yeah, the next thing that needs to be published is this video. So that's what I'll focus on. But the actual tasks to get that done either happen on my phone or at my computer. And so that's where I split everything up. That works for me. That's how I kind of think. Okay. So everything now up through the date that I told you the 21st um, has been moved to these columns. And so now everything is populated. And when I need to know what I need to get done, I'll pull up Asana and I can see, look, this is all tomorrow. There's still some things I need to do today uh, before I go to bed. And then... You know, or, you know, probably doesn't matter. As long as the deliverables here, I know, like, even if these little things, maybe I'm too tired to get some of these done today. I know that the del next deliverable isn't due for another three days. Um, so this just keeps everything in one place. And I use my phone. I've got the app on my phone. And I also use the widget that shows me um, 
so we're in black and white mode because it's late. Um, it shows me all everything is on here also, and so I can get straight from there. And then when I'm like filming a reel, for example, I've got that audio link. I can go straight there and use the audio. And that's how it happens. Um, I am not using a paper content schedule anymore as of this month. Um, and just having it on the computer, I finally, it took me a while to get the swing of this and the hang of it. Um, but, you know, figuring out when to use calendar view and board view and list view and all of that. I don't know a lot of the terminology and I'm definitely not using it exactly the way that it was designed to be used, but I do find this to be useful. Um, and so this is what my calendar, my content schedule looks like. Um, and it, it works, like I said. So I hope that you found this useful, gave you some ideas if you're trying to look for ideas of ways to plan your own, you know, content creation schedules digitally. Um, give you some sort of, you know, ideas and, and inspiration maybe for how you can optimize that. And uh, I just, I find this to be helpful. I feel like I haven't let things slip. I've been on top of things and even like the Instagram stuff that has to be posted live because I have not been able to figure out how to get that scheduled properly. Um, so I just post everything the day of and having it all in Asana, nothing ever slips through the cracks. I'm checking there every day and so I know it works. Anyway, uh, I was trying to end the video. I post videos every Thursday about planner stuff and sometimes about planning planner stuff. I will see you guys in the next video on Thursday if you subscribe and ring the bell. Have a great productive day and I'll see you next week. Bye. Thank you.